Yo guys, Jonathan here, and if you just picked up a 2016 MacBook Pro, this might be the perfect setup. So without a doubt, the centerpiece of this setup, aside from the MacBook Pro, is LG's 27-inch 4K USB-C monitor. Now what's special about this is the USB-C functionality essentially turns the monitor into a giant hub, which is awesome. So with that, the first thing I did was take a little tiny Samsung T1 external SSD, slap some 3M adhesive on it, and then mount that guy to the back of the monitor. The idea behind this is once you plug your MacBook Pro into the monitor, you instantly have a second drive already plugged in and ready to go. Now as a quick note, the Samsung T1 SSD is actually an older discontinued model, so for anyone looking to pick this up, there's actually a newer T3 drive, which I will link to down below. Moving on to the dock setup, the stand I use for the MacBook Pro is the iQnix Eden, and what makes this awesome is the fact that it's adjustable, so whether it's a 12-inch MacBook, the 13 or 15-inch Pro, whether it's this year or last year, it is going to fit perfectly. This allows you to rock a closed MacBook setup, which I think looks cleaner and neater, and in this case, I can keep the cables nicely tucked away, one going to the monitor, and the second port going to the secret USB-C hub. So if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about with the secret USB-C hub, the objective of this entire setup was to effectively go dongleless. Whether I was plugging in a USB drive, an SD card, I didn't want to have to stick that into something hanging out of the MacBook Pro, rather I wanted something stealthy. So what I did was take a USB-C hub from Hutu, which bonus points is also space gray. I wanted this to live on the actual desk and dock setup, so what I did was mount it underneath, and with a USB-C extension cable, I was able to run it underneath the desk into the MacBook Pro through the back and effectively use it as part of the dock setup. So now all I gotta do is plug something into the front of the desk and it instantly shows up on the MacBook Pro, which is a giant win. Now another thing worth mentioning is the monitor is also charging the MacBook Pro. So in this case where I'm using a 13 inch MacBook Pro with only two Thunderbolt 3 ports, it allows me to maximize functionality. Rounding out the setup, as far as the speakers go, these are the Kanto YU2 powered desktop speakers. They're definitely small, but they pack a surprising punch. They connect via USB, which is awesome because it allows you to bypass the need for an external audio card or a DAC. And what makes these especially cool is when you pair them with the matching speaker stands, which points them at the perfect listening angle. To keep everything else clean and tidy, I'm using the Apple Magic Keyboard, which connects via Bluetooth. And as far as the mouse goes, this is the Logitech MX Anywhere mouse, which also connects through Bluetooth or through a tiny USB receiver. Now, because I know someone out there is going to ask, the lamp is from Tommins, and it's one of my favorite ways to spice up a setup. I featured the white model in my Back to School Tech episode, and this one is the newer, updated model. So this setup is going to work great with either the 13 or 15-inch MacBook Pro, but on top of that, it's also a great option for the 12-inch MacBook. If you are looking for a convenient all-in-one dock setup where you can take your MacBook, go do your thing, come back, plug in, and be ready to go, this is it. The baseline 13-inch MacBook Pro handled the 4K display no problem. And quickly jumping back to the monitor, this is a fantastic display. The hub functionality is awesome, but more importantly, the image quality is phenomenal. The brightness, the color accuracy, and whether you're watching video, editing video, or editing photos, this is a great pickup. Aside from that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you dug this setup, make sure to smash that like button. I also got word that the 15-inch MacBook Pro Touch Bar is shipping this coming week, so if you haven't yet, definitely make sure you subscribe. I will have plenty of coverage on that. Again, links to this entire setup are down below. This is Jonathan, and I will catch you guys later.